All righty. Hi, guys. Uh, welcome to KMA Kickboxing. We're going to go ahead and get this show on the road today. I know um, we may be having some connectivity issues. If that does happen, please let me know. We may have to um, restart this live stream, but we'll go from there. Let's get this show on the road. Perfect. Oh, um, if, if you do want to run after the warm up, you're going to need something like a bar. You can do it without weight if you want, but if you have a kettlebell, a dumbbell, even like a plate, a plastic plate, something that you can hold that you're going to be pressing over your head and pulling towards your chest. So if you want a resistance band today, I'm going to be using a resistance band and a little ball, medicine ball. And Master Wagner is going to be using a bow staff. So if you have an screw stick or a bow staff, that'll work too. Just on your break if you want to go get that. Okay. Good. All right, let's go ahead and warm it up. Let's go trunk twist. Good, aiming your arms upwards on each one, so that bottom hand is going to twist upwards. Good, feet about shoulder width apart. Let's get some good mornings going. Slight bend in your knee. You're going to go straight down with the flat back. And up, squeezing your butt at the top. And down. And up. And down. And up. On this next one, go ahead and actually stretch down and down and stretch down. Good. From here, you're going to take your feet and you're just going to inch them out one foot apart. And we're going to go ahead and go into a squat position, making sure our heels on the floor. So if you can't keep your heels on the floor, just widen your feet out a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and rock back and forth. Getting a good stretch in the back of our heels, a little bit in our calves. And if you want to challenge, put your elbows inside your knees and then push out. That'll get you a nice hip stretch, too. Good. Come back to the center and straighten those legs out. Come back up. Let's go one more time. We're going to go down to the toes, down into the squat position. Straighten and up. Perfect. All right, go ahead and take whichever leg you want. I'm going to start with my right leg. We're going to go ahead and do some kind of makeshift swing kicks or a stretching rising kicks, okay? So all we're going to be doing is we're going to go front and back, and it's never going to touch the floor. So we're just going to go ahead and kind of swing our leg back and forth. What's that? We're going to touch the floor. That's what you need to do. said and done, right? We want to make sure we're extending at the top on this, get the hip flexor, and get the hamstring on the way up. So we're just going to go. If you can only do it to about here, that's fine. If you want to start swinging it more, that works. Good. And go ahead and switch legs. Start with just a little swing. And then eventually working up to about waist height back and forwards. If you need a wall or something to help with your balance, that's okay. I probably do too. All right. Other foot. This time we're going to go in front. So we're going to go swinging out. This time getting those hips. You need to do just one at a time. That's fine too. In, out, in, out. Good, and switch other leg. There we go. If you're like me, you just heard a little pop, big pop actually. Perfect, let's go ahead and take one hand. We're gonna go ahead and put it in front of us just like we're bowing. We're gonna put, take the other palm, put it on top. And we're gonna go ahead and bend our fingers back. Get a wrist stretch going. And switch, other hand up. Take that palm, push on those fingers. Good, switch hands. This time we're gonna aim our hand down, fingertips towards the floor. Same thing, we're gonna put our fingertips on this time, on our knuckles. We're gonna go ahead and press this way. This one should be stretching the back of this hand and the front of this hand at the same time. Or you can just go ahead and put all your pressure and just stretch the one wrist. That works too. And switch. Good. Right hand over top. We're going to go ahead and stretch to one side. And 
hand switch. Good, and a couple more good mornings again. So feet shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knees, going straight down and straight up. Look up if you can on each one of these, and up. Good, we're gonna go five at a faster pace now, get those back muscles warmed up. All right, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect, all right, so hope you're feeling a little bit warmed up. If you need to go ahead and jog in place while I explain how this next one's gonna work, that's fine. So we're gonna be doing a 10 minute AM wrap today, so as many rounds as possible. We're gonna work out our back and then our whole body a little bit, okay? So let me explain to you how this works. First one, this is where you're gonna need that resistance band. You can use a bow staff, you can use just your hands if you want. Um, I did this yesterday and my, I was using a towel, actually a rolled up towel, and my dogs decided to bite the towel as I was doing this, so I had some added resistance. That was a lot of fun. It's playtime. It was playtime for them. So we're gonna lay down under our stomachs, feet straight up, hands straight up. What's gonna happen? Is we want our hands about slightly outside of our shoulders, okay? We're gonna come off the floor just with our backs as much or as little as you want. So if you're only here, that's fine. We want to try to get to here, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna bring it to our chest, okay? We're engaging the back of our, I was gonna say the back of our back, the back of our back, yes, we're engaging all the way here. So as we pull, it comes to the chest. Should feel those scapula in the back of your, on your shoulder blades pulling together and out. So we're gonna go this, and we're gonna do that eight times, okay? So eight of that, those bad boys. 12 or eight? 12, I meant 12. Thank you, Absolutely. 12. You I pay attention, I promise you. 12 of those bad boys. Then you're gonna get up, okay? We're gonna use some medicine balls. Um, you can use any household object, probably between five and 10 pounds, or 15 if you go. We're using eight pound bad boys here. Okay, um, what's gonna happen? You can do this open hand too. If you yep, do. if you wanna do this open hand, that works too, okay? So we're gonna do candlestick get-ups today, okay? What that is, candlestick is when we are rolling back, okay? It's the upper part of a leg lift. So we're gonna go candlestick, okay? That's gonna get our abs. As we come down from our candlestick, we're gonna actually use that momentum to roll up into a squat stance. So we're gonna go candle, right? Roll into a squat stance, come up and push. Then we're gonna come down to our squat stance again, roll back, candle, and then roll, okay? Woo! Beautiful. We're, we're going to do eight of those. Modifications. If you can't get up, because I know sometimes I have a difficult time getting up, especially as we age a little bit, um, the back starts to not be as flexible. Okay, we're so, getting so old. <laughs> so variations, you can just do eight leg lifts and then eight squat push-ups as well. Okay, so instead of the candlestick to the squat position, you can just do eight of each, okay? And then after that, we're going to do two burpees. Okay, then we're going to go to our next set. Again, we're gonna do these, we're gonna do 12, we're gonna do eight, but then we're gonna do four burpees. On the next round, again, we're gonna do 12 of these guys, eight of those guys, guess what's next? Six burpees, okay? Next, we're gonna do 12 pulls, we're gonna do eight candlestick, and then guess what? Eight burpees, okay? So you're gonna see what round of burpee you can get up to in 10 minutes. Our goal is to get up to the round of 10 burpees. So that means we're gonna do the pulls, 12 times, which is 144 pulls? No, no, we're doing that. As many times as we can, right? Just yes, as many times as we can. I was just counting for rounds. That's yes, crazy. so 8, 12, 2, 8, 12, 4, 8, 12, 6, 8, 12, 8. We're gonna be doing the with, this with you guys the whole time, so you can kind of see the rhythm. Feel free to speed up. We're not gonna be going super duper fast, but definitely going fast, okay? So, let's go ahead. you hear your phone? Oh, oh yeah. you can time on your. I can. Oh, I can time it on my watch. All right. Fancy technology these days. Fancy, fancy. Ten minutes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Fantastic. All right, whenever you're ready. All right. Go ahead and get your whatever you're using it first. All right, get we'll ready. go frontwards. Master Wagner is going to go sideways. You can see both views. Get ready. Yep. Get set and begin. Get up. Squeeze the scapula. You should be feeling this in your low back as well. Good. 
to grab your little weighty weight bar in the air. That works too. Should feel this in your legs. Does that sound very no, seven is the seven. Great. It's where that accounting degree is coming to use right now, Miss Cassie. Yeah, and then we got two burpees. Whoop. Alright, back to this. Pull those scapula together each time. Make those back muscles work. You need to take a break. Take a break here and then come right back. Alrighty. I'm already getting a little tired. Good stuff. Seven. All right, four burpees. Sweet. On to the next round. Whenever you're ready, Miss Cassie. Take the most sweet time, man. Fine with me. All right, man. Here we go. my last. You want to rise up on everyone that you do as well? A little more? Pretty sure that was 12, might have been 11. That's okay. You guys are doing awesome. Keep it up. Remember, you can do leg lifts and squats. Leg lifts and squats if you need to. I don't know. We're on that six. Woo seven. Almost there. Eight. Eight. All right, now we got eight burp of knees. I'm going to let my heart rate slow down. 
For those kids at home that don't know, um, I do have a heart condition, so it's like a ventricular tachycardia. It's a mouthful. You see me not doing things? It's not because I'm lazy, because I don't want to pass out. We appreciate that, Mr. Weather. I don't want to catch you. The mats are soft enough. <laughs> They're definitely clean enough. I can say that. How much more time we got, man? We have four minutes and 14 seconds. Oh, boy. All right. Here we go. Sorry, just getting Woo, my locust feeling it. Good job, guys. Here we go again. You guys are doing awesome. on that band or that bar the whole time. Let us know your scores. 
you can go ahead and post them in the comments if you want. So just say what round of burpees you made it to. So if you made it to the round of doing 10 burpees, that's the 10 round, right? So we made it to the round of 12. Okay, don't add all the burpees. If you made it to the round of 14 burpees, which is the round we are working on, you say the 14 burpee round. So if you want to share with us, great. If you're watching later at home, we'd love to see those scores. And if not, that's okay too. Go ahead, get some water, breathe for a second, then we got more. Fantastic. It's going to be a fun day. Want to get some more, Kathy? Yes, ma'am. This next one, if you would like your boxing gloves, you are welcome to use them. However, you are not required to since you won't be punching anything. Just gives you some added weight. Or if you do really want to get your bag out, punch a bag if you have one, you can as well. We're going to be doing it all the air, though. All right. So. Here's how things are gonna to work today, kids. Um, we did a little bit last time talking about making a diamond, or I shouldn't say a diamond, making a, a target when it comes to moving and using our footwork in our boxing. What we're gonna be working on today is we're gonna be taking that and we're gonna be building in a little bit more speed and endurance training for this. So this is a fun one. Uh, make sure when you do this, we're gonna be moving a little bit forward and a little bit backwards today. Just take a look around your space, make sure that you're not gonna run into anything going backwards or forwards. Give yourself about three big steps of room in each direction if you can. So one, two, three, and then coming back, and one, two, three. Making sure that you have that in that much space will be completely fine for today. Here's how things gonna work. We're gonna do a little warm up to our regular um, boxing today. Your hands are going to be up, you're going to be in your guarding stance. What you're going to be working on, we're going to be going forwards, we're going to be taking 10 punches and 10 steps. So remember, same hand, same foot, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now here's the deal, I'll scoot back a little bit, Miss Cassie. Once you get to that 10 mark, you're going to stop, you're going to make sure that you take no more steps, but I still want you pivoting, still want you using that good footwork, making sure you're turning your shoulder, hip, and heel. And then you're going to give me 20 of your fastest punches in place. Now, these punches in place don't have to be jabs and crosses. You can use jabs, crosses, hooks, uppercuts, back fists, rich hands. You can do starter punches. Whatever you choose to do is fine with me, as long as you give me 20 rapid fire. So again, one more time, we'll start going forwards. You'll go 10 punches going forwards, and then rapid fire 20 punches. Then we're gonna do the same thing going backwards. 10 punches going backwards, rapid fire 20 punches. We're gonna do that four times before we add on it and it's a little bit crazier. Are we ready? Yes, ma'am, did you wanna review how you go backwards really quickly? Oh yes, um, so with backwards, it's still the same hand, same foot. Miss Cassie's gonna be moving sideways, you can see her here. When she moves backwards, if her jab goes first, which it always does, then her front foot moves. If her back foot, or if her back hand punches, her back foot moves. So again, she goes in, out. She's landing in that pivot as she does it. Um, if you guys do have questions about that, please let me know in the comments. Um, but let's go ahead, let's go to the shoulder row. Bam. Hands up. Right. Ready? Again, this is rapid fire. One, two, three, four is so what we're gonna end up doing. We're gonna try to have no pauses. So hands up, right. get ready? And moving forwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty punches rapid fire. Shh, 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 shh. And backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty punches rapid fire. Shh, shh, shh. Forwards again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Backwards. One, two, and twenty. And time. That was our warm up to our our uh, rest of our class today. So. What we're going to be working on now, we went forwards and backwards, we're going to continue to kind of do that same thing, except this time, what we're going to be doing instead is if I say forwards, you're going to be stepping forwards with jabs and crosses. You're just going to keep going. I won't make you go past about three steps worth. Although, if you're going to run into anything, make the smart decision and don't. Um, as soon as you hear me say, stop, once I say stop, you're going to drop, you're going to do a burpee, and you're going to come back up. From there, I'll give you a new direction. So again, if I say forwards, you're moving forwards. 
stop gives you a burpee, and then I'll tell you another direction. We can go forwards, backwards, we're gonna be doing a lot of this today. This is a two minute round here, so we're gonna keep going until we finish out this two minutes. Hands are up by the sideways. Go ahead and get ready. Get set. We're gonna start moving forwards. Ready? Forwards. Stop, burpee. Forwards. Stop, burpee. Backwards. Get a little bit faster with those punches. Stop, burpee. Forwards. I'm still gonna go slow. Stop, so you burpee. Can so you can see Mass Wagner will definitely go Forwards. Stop, burpee. Backwards. Sorry, Miss Cassie did not mean to cut you off there. Okay, fine. And stop, burpee. Forwards. Stop, burpee. Forwards. Stop, burpee. Backwards. Stop, burpee. Forwards. Keep it up. Keep it up. Stop, burpee. Backwards. Stop, burpee. Forwards. Stop, burpee. Forwards. Stop. Five burpees this time. Backwards when you're ready. Stop, burpee. Forwards. Stop, burpee. Backwards. Stop, burpee. Forwards. Stop, burpee. Time. All right. So, take a second, catch your breath. I hope that the forwards and backwards movement starts to feel a little bit more comfortable. We are going to jump in and start engaging our legs today too. So, this next one, again, if you need something to lean on, you are more than welcome to grab it. If that's a wall, a human, a chair, that's fine. We're gonna be doing some combo rapid fire hold kicks as well now. Um, that will be our warm up for the rest of our kicks today. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some chairs from Miss Cassidy and I. Give yourself about 10 seconds, get settled. Oh, All righty, so I'll go ahead. I'll do this, uh, which way do you want to face, Miss Cassie? Uh, forwards, ma'am. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and I'll do this facing sideways. Um, for this first one, what we're going to be doing, we'll start with your side kicks. So this is a burner to for today. Understand that it's going to hurt, but if you can push through it, that's the important part. How it's going to work. You're going to go ahead. Um, I can count them out if you would like, or if you guys would just like to do them at home on your own, you're welcome to. We're going to do 10 side kicks in the air without putting our leg down. We're going to hold for 10 seconds. Then we're going to do 20 side kicks in the air, hold for 10 seconds. 30, hold for 10, 40, hold for 10, 50, hold for 10. Understand, a side kick is unlike a round kick. A round kick, I can go really fast, right? I can do this over and over and over again. Side kicks are different. They're using different muscles. You should be taking more time to do these than you think. So if I'm here in my side kick chamber, out, in, out, in. I want to be extending myself fully each time. This one's going to be a fun one. Pick, I would recommend picking your favorite leg first, but that's up to y'all. So, hand on what you need to hold on to, other hand by your face, not touching it though, but remember. Um, from here, chamber, we're gonna start, ready? 10 kicks, 10 holds, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. hold for 10. My martial artists, please make sure that while you're doing this, you are blading your foot. You're using a sword foot position here. We're almost done. Three, two, one. 20 now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hold for 10. I'm not looking away from y'all. I'm looking at our clock, by the way. And 30. One, two, three, four, five. Try not to put your leg down the entire time. Ha, ha. Eight, That's a nine, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Now while I'm doing this, notice my leg's coming down. Try to keep it at your waist level. I'm right now at about my knee level. Woo, I'm feeling cramping and that's why. And 40. Two, three. Yeah, if your back's cramping, you're doing it right. <laughs> I hate to say that. So I'm holding low. And last one, we've got our 50. If you need to pause, try to pause in this upwards or sideways chambered position. If that's too much, just pause with your knee up here. Ready? 50. because I need to. Last ten. Fifty and hold for ten. Three, two, one, and time. Set that leg down. You should be feeling it. This shouldn't feel super great. Um, unfortunately, I hate to say that, but. From here, give yourself, make sure you stretch out a little bit. Just stretch here. I like to put that foot in front and I like to lean over. Kind of stretches out the back there. If I need to, I'll even cross my legs and then go ahead and lean over because it pulls out that back muscle that you want. From here, other leg. Move my chair over to this side. All right, so again, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 with the side kicks. After this, um, this will take us about I wish that they can still see you, Miss Cassie. Oh, well, they don't want to see you. This is not a strong point for me. That's okay. Um, everyone needs stuff to work on. I am not a fun person with burpees. So let's go ahead and get this show on the road. 50. We'll start at 10. Ready? And go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hold for 10. This is my bad side for my sore foot. This is the side that I'm working on with my sore foot. And 30. Nine, ten. We've got 40 next. This is where I'm starting to feel it. So I'm letting my knee rest up here. 
I'm gonna hold this for about two or three seconds and then we'll get this show on the road. Ready? And go. Forty, hold for ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna chamber for one more time here. Again, as you can see, I'm starting to feel it too. This is my better side. This is still not a bad side. Though. Yeah, this is my bad side. This is not my good side. All right, ready? Fifty and go. Hold for ten. And time. Put that leg down. Shake it out. Stretch if you need to. That's what I'm be doing right now. Woo! All right. Okay. You will not need a chair or anything for this last part. This one's just going to be kind of a fun one. Um, I'm going to teach you guys a new kick today. Ooh, what is it? Flipping round. Woo! Yeah, this one's a really fun one. As we do this today, understand that your leg is going to be moving in a circular way today. Um, If you get dizzy easily, like my mom, don't do this repeatedly because you will throw up over after if we do it over and over again. So um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking a round kick, just a traditional round kick that you may throw in the air, where you come up, you kick out, you bring it back, you set it down. We're going to be turning it into what we call a whipping round kick. Now a whipping round kick is kind of a fun technique. Um, how it works is you bring your leg up, you throw your round hip, but your hips actually over rotate. So I'm coming up and I'm throwing my round kick here. Notice my hips are starting to look and turn almost backwards. That's okay. I'm gonna to continue to come downwards and loop all the way through as I do this technique. I'll show it once full speed, then we're gonna do a couple on each side, then we're gonna throw it into a combination as well. Your aim here with a whipping round kick, Miss Cassie, can I borrow you for this one? Yeah. I won't actually hit you, I'll just have you stand right now. Thank you. You're totally, <laughs> totally welcome. Your aim here is a couple of different places. You can aim for the outside of the leg. Again, I won't I won't kick Miss Cassidy, but you can come up. You can aim for the outside of the leg. You can come up. You can aim for the floating ribs. Or you can come up. You can aim to come up and down across at the head level. Again, I did not want to hit this Cassie. So you can choose those three targets. If this is new to you, I highly recommend that you try the leg kick. But let's go ahead and get the shoulder road. It's going to be in your garden stances here. Take your favorite leg first. doesn't matter. Your back leg is going to be the one that's kicking. You're going to lift your back leg up. You're going to kick out. You're going to whip all the way around, and you should land in the same spot that you started in. We're going to try five of these on each leg. We'll go one slow for each one. Our first slow one, we're coming up. We're kicking. We're coming down, whipping all the way through. I'm almost doing a lazy rechamber. So if you feel like you're not rechambering, that's okay for now. Hands wrap. We're going to throw this five times I'm in a row. I'm going to switch on each one, man, just because I get dizzy really easily. Absolutely. If you need to switch on each one, you are welcome to. Hands wrap. Ready? And one. And ready, and two. Ready, three. Four. And five. Notice when I do this, my bottom foot is really pivoting. You want to make sure that your bottom foot pivots to avoid having knee problems. All right, other side now. Hands are up, ready. And uh, one slow. My apologies, I forgot that. Lift the leg up, kick out, turn around, set it down. Five now, ready, and one, two, three, four, and five. All right, we're gonna finish off the fun combination today. For this today, I know I've been having us work both sides. 
You can actually pick your favorite side since we only have the opportunity and time to do this twice. So how this is going to work, we're going to combo our steps and our punches that we've worked on. We're going to add on some hook punches and we're going to throw these uh, whipping ground kicks today. So if my hands are up in my garden stance here, how it's going to work is I'm going to go step jab and step cross. As soon as I finish my step jab, step cross, my front hand is going to throw a hook punch here. Now, from this hook punch, if you're a martial artist, you can throw a back fist off of this as well. If you're not a martial artist and you don't want to do that, that's fine. From this hook punch, you're going to step with your front leg in just to kind of base and feel comfortable. You're going to throw that whipping round kick. So one more time. Step jab. Step cross. Hook. Back fist if you're a martial artist and you want to. Step. Whipping round. Full speed with this combination. We're going to do this probably about five to ten times, depending on, I mean, I can't look at you guys and see how well it's going, but <laughs> depending on how well we do on it, we'll probably do it two, five to ten times. So hands rip. Get ready. Get set. And go. Step, step, hook, whipping round. Awesome. Try it again. Ready? Go. Step, step, hook, whipping round. Ready? Go. Step, step, hook, whipping round. Ready, go. Step, step, hook, whipping round. Let's do three more. Ready, go. Ready, go. One more. Ready, go. And time. Hopefully that whipping round feels good. Um, if you need something to kind of practice on, or you're not sure where you should be hitting at home, I am going to show that really quickly. Um, Here's how it works. I'm going to come up pretty close to the camera here, and I'm going to show off my shins. Now, I'll scoot back a little bit so you all can see my feet. Traditionally, with a round kick, we hit with the tops of our feet. Um, it's called an instep. That's where we should normally be hitting. What we're going to be hitting with when we do this whipping round kick is right about, you don't want to hit directly with the middle of your shin. You want to come a little bit lower above the ankle, but below the middle of the shin. This area right here. That's where you should be aiming. If you hit up too high, you can actually break your shin. Look up Anderson Silva online. It's horrible. So um, you don't want to do that. You want to hit with that part of your shin here. It's kind of like you're doing a leg kick almost. Um, but that is the end of our workout today. I do have a couple of stretches that we want to do. We want to show you off our workout too. Um, let's go ahead, start in a butterfly stretch. And then Miss Cassie, if you want to show off what we did for our workout, you can do it right now. Of course. So this, you can... If you have a bag and gloves, this is the perfect time to use it. If you don't, you can definitely do it in the air as well. So we just did. It was super fun. Um, we call it the black belt test because we do all these things in the black belt testing. So we're going to do 20 push-ups. Tw can you see this? Is it, Did I write it the wrong way? All right, 20 push-ups. Yeah, it shows correctly, I promise. Okay, 20 burpees. We're going to do 100 jab crosses. That's what I mean, jab cross. 100 hooks, 100 uppercuts. And then 50 flutter kicks. Okay, so we're going to do that three times. <laughs> Two, three. Okay, so if you want the jab crosses, you can go in the air. The hooks, the same thing. Uppercuts, the same thing. Flutter kicks. If you don't have a bag, you can do rapid fire rounds instead. So you can go ahead and do 25 on each leg. Or machine guns. Too. Or machine guns if you want to just pop them out. That works too. So three rounds of that. So if you want to take a picture, you can. If not, I'll just leave it here. So three rounds of that. And then after that, some abs. We're going to do five rounds of this, 20 sit-ups, scapula touching the floor either to every time, and then 20 oblique crunches. Um, all those are, some people call them penguins too. It's just while you're on the floor and you're touching. Oh, I can't. I'm just going to You're touching each of your hands to your uh, ankles right here. Okay, so here, if you want to do a crunch style like this, if you want to add a little punch on each side, you can. But 20, so that's 20 on this side, 20 on that side. So technically 40. So again, five rounds of 20 sit-ups and whoo, 20 oblique crunches as well. So fun cardio, full body and ab workout. Yeah, yeah. I, I do want to give a shout out. Uh, Miss Megan did a workout from last time as well. You said, I believe uh, from what you said, you got it in about 16 minutes, which awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's finish up with our stretch. Make sure that you reach in here. Sometimes you may not see me reaching with my hands. It's okay not to reach with your hands if you're still reaching with your chest. Your goal eventually, um, is, if you're doing these, is to get your chest all the way to your knee, just like that. If you can't, that's okay. 
There's two different ways to do this leg in, leg out stretch as well. Um, what I'm doing right now is called a V style because my one leg's at an angle and my other leg's at an angle in relationship to my hips. They're like this. If I need to, I can go one foot forward and the other coming at an angle. This is more of an L style. The L style is, oh yeah, absolutely. Um, the L style uh, works more of directly underneath on your hamstring there. So make sure that we're stretching here and switch other side. Uh, different versions of the stretches work different muscles. If I'm wanting to do more of a side split, I'll do that V style. If I'm wanting to do more of a front split or I'm trying to get my front kicks higher, I want to do more of that L style. Alrighty, uh, from here, let's go ahead, let's go legs apart. Great job today, guys. Uh, I am going to still be offering YouTube live classes. Uh, I am also, though, going to be enabling a Zoom class. Now, I promised everyone um, the opportunity, if you stayed on with us and if you, you know, were committed to continuing at Kicks Martial Arts with us during this uh, uncertain time, that I would be offering free private lessons. Uh, tonight or tomorrow morning, you should receive an email with a sign-up genius signing up for private lesson slot times on Zoom. Um, I can do 30-minute private lessons, so you guys are more than welcome to sign up for two. If you want to get like an hour length private lesson, you can sign up for two in a row and we can just hop in and hop out of the Zoom chat. So um, I am looking forward to that. I hope that you guys, uh, you know, got a lot out of this workout today. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, email me, message me, uh, let us know. We are happy to have you guys. Go ahead, bring those legs in, shake them out. Good job today. Keep this up and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys soon on Thursday, preferably. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Bye, guys. Wash your hands. Yes. Good job. Yep. Bye, guys.